everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. I have to say I pretty much wasted the entire morning just messing with my hair and I don't know, I just kind of wanted to change things up because I feel like I look the same in every video. So I bought these extensions a while ago from a company called Pretty Party and I've never worn them just because I don't think that it suits me. And now I feel like I ended up with like an Ariana Grande type of style and I don't know, it just makes me laugh. Just let me know what you think of my look today. Um, I think it kind of looks cute, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a weird day, you guys. Anyways, so today I actually wanted to bring you guys my 2020 wish list. And this is actually not going to be specific to 2020 because I've thrown kind of a lot of bigger things on here. Well, one big thing on here. And I barely think that I'm going to be able to get this in my lifetime. But hey, I'm just going to throw it out there now into the universe. So stay tuned to see what that is. But yeah, these are one of my favorite videos to do because I love talking about things that I love and that I want to buy. So if you are a luxury lover and you like handbags and luxury brands like I do, please continue to watch this video. And also please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I do make videos just like this every single week. So hopefully you can join me back here. All right, let's get started. So I had the hardest time with this wish list because I wrote down like 18 million things. I just feel like I'm in one of those like shopping moods, I guess. So I ended up writing a lot of stuff down. So I'm going to start off with non-bags first. The first thing that I want to buy that isn't a bag is actually a, another pair of Stuart Weitzman boots. If you've been following my channel, you'll know that I have recently fallen in love with Stuart Weitzman boots. I have two pairs right now and I just love over-the-knee boots. I've always have for winter because they keep you so, 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 so warm and I've recently discovered that Stuart Weitzman boots are just like superior and second to none. They are very 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 expensive for shoes so that is why I have not bought it in the past but once I bought the two pairs that I did this year or last year I'm sorry I just I'm completely in love so I really want to buy another pair. My favorite pair of boots are called the Thailands. They are just a over-the-knee pair of boots and they are so so comfortable even though they do have heels on them I can just feel like I can walk in them all day. So I have a pair of black ones of those and I really want a pair of light colored ones. There is one called, I think the color is called Dolce or something and it's this beautiful like kind of pinky nude suede and oh my god I want it so so bad. However I am waiting to get them, I don't know, maybe at towards the end of the year for next winter. I know that's a long time away but I just want to enjoy the boots that I have this year. Um, that I bought already so I'm thinking I should probably wait on these. Alright another thing that's on my wish list has been on my wish list literally forever and that is a Chanel brooch. Now I think it's because I'm searching for a specific one. I saw one on Fashion File a long time ago that was half pearls and half like rhinestones or like fake diamonds or whatever you call those. I love this brooch so much and I'm pretty sure that it exists. If it does exist I will leave a picture on the screen but I don't know why I've seen a lot of different beautiful brooches out there but this one is like my dream one and I think that I only want one in my collection because I just don't see the point of having many um especially with my style I just don't like anything like too extravagant in terms of like jewelry pieces and accessories so I feel like I want just one and that's why it has to be perfect so that is why I haven't bought it yet I think that they look beautiful on blazers and jackets and stuff and you guys know that I really really love outerwear so I think a brooch would just like go really well with my style and be able to spice up my jackets and blazers. The last accessory that I want to talk about is actually this pair of Tiffany sunglasses. Now for Black Friday um, when we were shopping around we just went into the sunglasses store because one of my friends thought he wanted sunglasses and I literally walked into the store and saw this pair of sunglasses and just died because I am not really a sunglasses person. I don't have any pairs of designer sunglasses. The ones that I'm currently using right now are from Kate Spade. I don't know what made me fall in love with them. They are a pair of Tiffany & Co sunglasses and they are just like cat eye shape and even though they're black they just look so beautiful and they've got this beautiful detail like on the top as well and I love how like cat eye they look and I made the mistake of trying them on because I just fell in love with them afterwards. Um, they were really expensive. I think they're around like uh, $500 or something. I don't really know what the range is for sunglasses like higher end so I don't even know if that's like super expensive or not but being that I've never bought a pair of sunglasses like over $100 they are just like way too expensive for me but I just love them so much they make me feel like 
Hollywood glam, like, I don't know, 1960s Hollywood glam, and I just want them so, so, so bad. Um, so they're definitely on my wish list to buy. I'm thinking maybe if I have some money left over after the wedding or maybe when I'm abroad, I feel like sunglasses are a really good thing to buy because they're not, like, too, too, too crazy expensive, and they're something that you can use on your trip and that you can definitely bring back with you in your luggage as well. So I'm thinking, like, these smaller things on this wish list might be things that I might buy on our trip to Europe. All right, moving on to bags. There are actually so many bags that I want on my wish list. I don't even know like what's realistic or not. I'm going to start off with one bag that I've actually had on both of my wish lists prior to this and that is a YSL bag. So the one that I really 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 wanted um, previously is the YSL Kate bag in the medium size in the mock croc pink which I actually did find on Tradesy but after seeing it on the pictures I think it might be a little bit too bright for me it's like a really 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 hot pink which I like but I'm just not super super into and also it doesn't have a strap so it is just a clutch I've seen videos on Instagram where you can like kind of thread a chain through to make it a shoulder bag but I don't know if I want to do that so I haven't pulled the trigger on that and as I've been researching more YSL bags I found another one that I really really like and it's actually the Kate bag that I used to have but it's in a pink patent leather with gold hardware I used to have one and it was in the small size as well and it was actually like a smooth like nude pink leather with the gold hardware and the tassel I loved that bag to death but then I found myself falling out of love with that like pinky nude color and I also realized that you can't really fit anything into this bag so that is why I re put it on my wish list in the medium size but now it's back on my wish list as the small size so I guess I don't know I think it's just something about this color combination with the patent leather that just draws me in for some reason so that is why this bag is back on my wish list I don't know how functional it would be for me since the reasons why I got rid of my previous Kate bag would still apply to this one but I don't know whatever a wish list is like a dream so I can pretty much throw anything that I want on there, right? All right, moving on, speaking of Saint Laurent, it is really weird for me to have multiple Saint Laurent bags on here because I just don't feel like Saint Laurent is one of those brands that I really get along with, but recently I found this white Saint Laurent bag that I want so, so, so bad. It is called the Cassandra Top Handle, like V flat bag. I don't know. It's got a really long name because I think Saint Laurent reused this bag name. The Cassandra used to be like the clutch and now it's a satchel so I don't know. But I recently saw this bag just on an ad online and fell in love with it. I love satchel style bags. It really reminds me of the Chanel Trendy CC and the Louis Vuitton um oh god what am I thinking of the Louis Vuitton this one Pochette Matisse yeah combined together in one bag and I love how it looks like really classy with the clean lines and I've always always loved the YSL logo it's just YSL hasn't come out with any like colors and styles of bags that really work for my lifestyle so I just feel like this one really has a good chance of working out for me it's a top handle satchel style bag which is my absolute favorite and it could go on the shoulder or crossbody so so I just feel like this would be a really functional one for me and I do feel like this might be the YSL bag that sticks in my collection if I got it so I don't know fingers crossed the white one that I'm thinking of also is like the YSL Vicky that I just bought uh, maybe a couple of months ago now which I did end up returning if you want to watch that unboxing video I said that I returned it one because I didn't think the style was going to be timeless because of the like vertical quilting and I also mentioned something about the color but I do think now that I don't know I I really like how it's not like stark white so if I do buy the bag again I'm gonna really have to think about it but I don't know I just really really love the way that this one looks and I think it's so classy and so elegant all right the next bag I'm pretty sure it was also on my wish list previously but that is the Chanel Coco Handle I have actually recently fallen in love with the Coco Handle even more now because I did end up buying it for a fashion file although I did return it because I just didn't think that the size was right for me I think I want to go for a mini size and definitely in a pink color obviously um and in the uh like quilting in the diamond quilting not the chevron because I just feel like the chevron would be way too similar to the trendy cc and chevron that I have 
currently. Um, so yeah, I really, really want a mini one. This is just like what I was saying with the YSL bag. I just love little top handle bags so much, and I think that the mini size would go great in my collection. It kind of reminds me of the size of maybe my Alma BB or something, but I just love that style so, so much. I think the cocoa handle is just gorgeous. The only problem is, is that it is a seasonal piece, and they haven't released a color, like a pink color that I love like a lot. Last year they released a ton of them. They had one that was more of like a coral salmon one and they had one that was more of a hot pink which neither one I felt like matched me perfectly so that is why I didn't buy it yet. Although I haven't seen any of those in person so I don't know exactly but um, the point is they haven't released one that I have seen that I'm just like oh my god this is perfect for me so I don't know. I'm hoping for Chanel Spring Act 2 this year to release one. They did release one for Spring Act 1 but it's in the chevron and it's too much of a hot pink pink for me so I don't know um we'll see I guess but I definitely want to add one to my collection at some point in my lifetime I guess all right the next bag I'm not too serious on buying this I just love it so much that I kind of just threw it in here um but I've been loving the like new Chanel pearl bags I love those bags so much I think they are gorgeous and if I had all the money in the world I would have wanted to buy one for my wedding day I think that would have been so so perfect because it's just gorgeous and it comes in white as well um but they are just so freaking expensive for how tiny they are I can barely fit a phone in these bags like I don't think I want to spend that much money on them and right now on the secondhand market they are going for an astronomical price as well so I don't know even though I don't see me buying this bag realistically I love it so much that I just had to throw it in this list I love pearl details so so much and I would probably want it in either pink or white I'm kind of either way right now because I just do love the way the pearls look with both colors so yeah it is definitely on my wish list but I just wish that I could find it for a like better price second hand. The next bag I've been talking about on my channel forever but that is a Chanel square mini. That would kind of complete my line of like classic style Chanel flat bags. I do have a rectangular mini and a small and a medium and a jumbo. There's one on sale on Fashion File right now that is my dream one but I just don't have the money for it at the moment. It's priced about three thousand dollars so I'm really really sad that I have to pass on it but it is from the 2016 collection I believe um it's just this like rose pink color and I want it so so bad this is literally my dream pink mini because the one that I currently have in the rectangle size is more of a really really light nude baby pink one so I feel like these two would complement each other really well but the good news is that I have seen it a couple of times um you know pop up in random places so I'm hoping even if I pass on this one it will reappear in the market again once I have the money for it but ah uh, I just love it so much and I can't tell you how hard it is to pass on this bag right now but uh, I just want it so bad all right there are a couple of more bags that I want to talk about the next bag is the only Louis Vuitton bag that I have on here I'm kind of I don't want to say over Louis Vuitton because that sounds kind of bad but I kind of am over them I just don't feel like there are any other pieces that I really really want to add to my collection especially because I am not a huge fan of their canvas pieces um I do have a couple of the Damien Azur ones but that's the only print that I like so I don't want to flood my collection with that print but there is a style of bag that I do really really love and admire and that is the LV Capuchins bag. I think a lot of people think that I was going to say like maybe the Cluny BB or the Lockie BB although I do love those bags I just feel like it's too similar to the bags that I already have and the other bags on my wish list and I'm just not a huge huge fan of Louis Vuitton Epi leather um, so that is why the Capuchins bag is probably the only other bag that I'd want to buy from Louis Vuitton. I just think that it's such a classy looking bag. It's got that like timeless kind of look and I love the pinks that it comes in. There is one that is light pink with gold hardware and I think there's one with light pink and rose gold hardware that I've seen that are just so stunning and so beautiful and I just think that this bag is timeless and elegant and is pretty much comparable to the um, Hermes Kelly as a lot of people might say so yeah I just think that this bag is really really classy the only thing that is stopping me from buying it is that in stores brand new I think it's about $5,000 which I just don't feel like I want to spend on anything 
but Chanel so I don't know that is kind of why I haven't bought it yet it does resell at a lower price secondhand but I haven't found one in the color combination that I want for a price that I'm comfortable with so yeah it's on there but I'm just waiting for the right one to show up all right and the last big reveal that I'm officially putting on my wish list most of you could probably guess but I want a Hermes bag. <laughs> I know it's stupid to say because they're so freaking expensive and I don't have a single thing from Hermes so I don't know how I could ever buy it brand new in store but I do want a pink Birkin or Kelly. So I I actually thought that I only wanted a Kelly until I went to LA a few months ago and I tried on a Birkin at the Real Real. I actually fell in love with it. I tried on a Birkin 30, which I just never, ever, ever thought I would like. But once I held it and once I saw it in the mirror, I was, I was sold. It wasn't even a pink one that I tried on. I tried on a red one with gold hardware and even though that's not my color at all, just the feeling of that bag and touching it and holding it and seeing it on me, I just... Ah, oh, I fell in love. I feel like such a crazy person right now talking about bags like that, but I honestly just loved it so much. So I feel like I'd be okay with either a Kelly or a Birkin. The only thing that I don't like about the Birkin is that it doesn't have a shoulder strap, which I feel like I need, but I don't know. I feel like there are so many other, you know, pros to the bag that that might not even matter. Like theoretically, I would love to buy one in store, but I haven't even started my Hermes journey yet. And I don't even know like when they release like these colors so I just I'm completely lost so yeah it's probably not realistic for me at all to be throwing this on my wish list but I just want to let you guys know that I am a fan of these bags and if I'm just strictly talking about bags that I would love to have in my collection a fantasy or not I feel like this is now on my wish list somehow <laughs> all right that was all for my video I hope that you enjoyed seeing my 2020 wish list I know it's kind of similar from the wish list that I had last year but there are a lot of new things on here as well so let me know in in the comment section down below what is on your wish list and if we have anything in common let me know as well as always if you did like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i do upload videos just like this every single week and yeah with that thank you so so much for watching and yeah i'll see you next time bye